Hi guys, this is me, Zeron, and my little sister, Alma, and we'll be sitting in our car. So today we're, today's video is a bit different from all our videos because today we're sitting in our car. Yes. And we're going to be learning about some traffic rules and also some rules that we have to follow when we sit in our car. Yes. So Zeron, can you tell me what's the first thing we have to do when we sit in our car? Yes, fastening your seatbelt is really important. So, Rahma, can you tell me why we have to fasten our seatbelt? No my phone Yes, fastening our seatbelt helps to keep us safe and nobody yes. can fall down. From bumping into seats. Yes, and also it can help you keep safe and, you know, yes. prevent accidents. Yes. Okay, now let's move on to the second thing. Can you tell me about the traffic light? Yes. Red light means stop. Yellow light means patience, and green light means go. Yes, these are the three important rules of traffic lights, and you know many people break traffic yes. lights, and this causes accidents. Yes. And people die as well. Yes. So in Let order me tell to tell you a thing. Yes. When when a red light goes, but you have to stop. Yes, and if somebody disobeys this rule, it can cause them an accident, and yes. you know it can cause deaths as well. Look. Let me, let me tell you, when a, when, a, when a people is crossing the red light, it can be an accident. Yeah, it can cause a huge accident and destruction as well. Yes. Okay, now let's move on to the third thing. Yes. So, since you guys are really young and you guys can drive, right? You guys can. So, when you sit in the car, can you tell me some rules you have to follow? Yes. We don't have to jump probably in the car. And we have to sit properly. Yes, we have to sit properly in the car and we don't have to cause any noise and distraction for yes. the driver. You know, so that the driver can drive peacefully. Yes, or else they'll get distracted. Yeah, they will get distracted and you know, it can cause a lot of chaos. Yes. And yes, that's one important point as well. Yes. Okay, so you guys, there's one last thing you guys need to know. That when you guys grow up, What's the one thing that you have to avoid while driving? Don't use our food when you call. Yeah, for example, when you're driving one day and somebody calls you, and even though it's urgent, but your life matters more than that phone call, right? Yes. If it's your friend, you shouldn't pick it up. Yeah, driving. don't yeah, don't pick up the, you know, the phone when we're driving because yes. it's a huge distraction. We shouldn't call anyone and we shouldn't even pick any call, right? Because it's very, like, it's a huge distraction because you're focused yes. on the phone, right? Yes. And then you also have to drive at the same time. Yes. Yeah. And another important thing that you guys need to know uh, that whenever we're going to road trips or, you know, we're at, whenever we're going to have fun, we have to make sure that we keep our car clean. Yes. Like, for example, if you eat something, don't really throw the wrapper, you know, you have to give it to in your the parents. car. Yeah, don't throw it in the car. Mm -hmm. Then we don't feed the bin, it gets ugly. Yes. That's... We have to feed the bin. Yep. But, yeah. the, but the bin doesn't eat normal food, it eats garbage. Yes, the bin eats garbage, so you have to feed the bin garbage. Yes. Yes, that's a but, really good point. But you but you have to pick up the trash first and then put it in the bin, so it doesn't get hungry. Yes, that's a really, really great thing. And we also have to take care of our environment because you know it's being, it's being polluted. And another thing that you guys need to know is that we don't have to use the car every single time we go outside because it produces smoke, which is harmful for the environment. Yes, and let me tell you, when the gas runs out, you get into an accident as well. Yes, and do you guys know about global warming? Yes. Global warming is increasing, and you know, car smoke is one of the mo main reasons. Yes. So we have to drive wisely. Yes. And we also have to obey our parents, and you're not supposed to touch unnecessary stuff in the yes. car, such as you're like, not like the like the front like the front buttons. Yeah, the steering wheel, and you know, all of that. We're not yes. supposed to touch that. And, and then small kids are smaller from the grown-ups. They can drive the car. Yes, and it, you know, many small kids, they touch unnecessary stuff like this gear, this, you know, all of that, the like, steering wheel. Like, like that, when you, when you pull it down, it, 
the car drives by himself. Yeah, it reverses and you know the steering wheel. These all are really dangerous. Yes. And don't press the buttons on the steering wheel. Yeah, the control they, section. Yes. They they aren't for kids to press. Yes. And don't press the on button. It can cause a really huge big huge big matter. You're not supposed to, you know, like even press any button from yes. here. You always have to make sure that and you know whenever the car is on you're supposed to sit with an adult inside because you know kids sometimes mess up and you know yes. press several buttons and that can cause an accident yes like that screen has a protector we you shouldn't get that off yes we are not supposed to touch any of these inside yes, like our car the screen protector for the TV helps the TV screen will break yes so Zaran and Rama, did you have fun in today's car learning session? Yes. So should we make another video about this? Yes. Yeah, we'll think about making another video yes. on this. Obviously. Yeah. Well, you got my car ready.